Hi, everybody. Welcome to upstate New York. We're in Buffalo, one of the best hockey markets in America, and EA Sports is ready to bring you all the action here tonight. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Sabres start with possession as we are now underway. Feeds it over to Darlene. Thompson's going to play it against the half wall. Slick feed. And now he moves it to Lindholm. Calgary's in transition. Handles the pass. Along the half wall with the puck. Jumped out to an early 1-0 lead here. Quick start, mission accomplished, Ray. If the fans were just thinking they were going to watch along, well, they're jazzed now. They've got the early lead, and they're up on their feet. Calgary's won it. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Quinn's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The Flames win it in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Tube. Lindholm's got the puck in his own zone. Feeds it on over to Toffoli. And now it's grabbed by Weger. Moves it on over to Tube. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. And he slides it quickly to Quinn. Poked away in the neutral zone by Dubé. Here's a short pass to Thompson. Oh, just puts it wide of the net. Uh, trying to be a little fine with it. This is a good goaltender. You know you have to make a really great shot to beat him. But he just fires it wide. And some good footwork to kick it away. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Let's it rip. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Manages to hang on. Quick feed to Hannafin. The Flames take it along the wall. And he comes up with it. Buffalo's got the puck along the boards. Calgary's got possession here in the offensive zone. And that's somehow stayed out of the net. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Shot right in front. And that goes off a body. Angles it over to Coleman. Backman's got the puck. And he lowers the boom there. And he makes the save on that play. Krebs takes it across the line. Glove save. Markstrom's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. In the final moments of this period, the Sabres lead it 1-0. Krebs wins the draw. They'll look to set up here offensively. The Sabres looking against the half wall. Oh, what a stop by Markstrom. It's a really good save. In tight, he shuts down the area where the puck can go by getting out onto the puck, and there's nowhere for the shooter to put it. Looks like lineups are set, and they're ready to get things back underway. Calgary's won the draw. Now a quick pass to Coleman. The Flames take it across the line. Centering pass, and he denies that great opportunity there. Sends it across the ice. Shot. Tremendous stop by Markstrom. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. The Sabres win it. Takes a shot. Wins the iron. The Sabres continue to lead, but they would have loved to have stretched it out after that one hits the post. Quick pass across to Gergensen's.
That'll do it for the opening frame. We've got lots more still in store, so don't even think about going anywhere for Rail Fight. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Calgary's probably in a spot that they deserve to be in. They haven't had the puck very much. Of course they're going to be chasing the game. Good stand-up hit on the play. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. And that's stopped by Anderson. Uh, we used to laugh about this and say, oh, the goalie's got to answer the phone because his ears are going to be ringing. But I'm sure the trainer's going to check on him here as this hits him right in the face. Darlene's known for transitioning the play with a long breakout pass, guys. If he's got a teammate up the ice, look to him to use that send it zone ability to spring them into a scoring chance. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Skinner. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass to Uyghur. Passes it to Huberto. Sends a pass over. Buffalo's moving it along the wing. The Sabres have it against the wall. From one end of the blue line to the other. Markstrom's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Still lots of time left in the period. Buffalo's ahead, 1-0. Backlund's won the faceoff. Straight up the middle, here they come. Can't make it work. Great extension on his part to poke it away. Moves it to Cousins. Oh, just a great heads up play by Anderson. Can't make the connection on the pass. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. On the attack along the boards. Shot and kept that one out of the net. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. It's a step back for them now. They're shorthanded, but their penalty killers can do a job, and they can maybe gain that momentum back. The Sabres will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's going to be like. This is the power play's first chance. We'll see if they can get on the board. That opportunity is rejected. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. And he had the answer on that one. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Picked off by Skinner. From center, they get into the attacking area. And he's got the answer for that one. Markstrom's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Cousins will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Buffalo's got it behind the net. Cousins has it along the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And the puck's not loose. The Sabres come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. Well past the midway mark of this period. Buffalo's up one zip. The frozen miss gets dropped, and we are back underway here. Feeds it to Peltier. Moves it quickly over to Zadora. Here's a shot! Stick save for the goalie! Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Here's a short pass to Skinner. And he gets just enough of it with the glove and keeps it out. The Sabres have made their way back to center ice and probably breathing a little easier now as they are up by two. You throw that second one in your back pocket, everybody on the bench feels just a little bit better. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. 
Getting into the later stages of this period. Buffalo's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Lindholm's won the draw inside the neutral zone. Calgary's on the attack. That won't go as that goes off the side of the net. Buffalo's got it in their own zone. And now he tries to get it across to Krebs. Puck grab by Anderson. Tries to get it over to Toffoli. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Turns that one away. And the puck's kicked free. Quick feed to Olsson. And it's a quick pass to Krebs. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Gets a hold of the puck. Oh, I had the right idea but couldn't make that play with the pass. Hammers the shot. Denies him with the save. the horn two periods down a third period to go stick around and join us for the drama next welcome back to ea sports the final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three they have dropped the puck here in the third. 40 minutes into this one here. Razor, how do you see things? Calgary's got to find some energy here. The game's close, but they haven't had very many shots on goal. You're not going to score like that. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Sabres are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Lindholm's won the draw. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The goalie reads his play really well. He gets out aggressively to make the save. That's a low slot shot. It happens quick, but he's in the right spot to make that save. Made the stop on that play. They are really dialed in here tonight. There's a collision with some authority. Moves the puck over to Anderson. Nice pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. And now he moves it quickly to Tube. Gives him a choke with that hit. Slides the puck over. Gains the soul along the right wall. The Flames gain possession along the wall. There's a solid collision. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Rocks him on the play. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the chompers on that play. Some players have more of a physical presence. He does have one, and he really used his size to his advantage. Pass back to the point. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Moves it in front, and that's stopped. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Kadri's team is trailing, and he's out there looking to make a difference for them, guys. One way he can do that is by using his zone ability to get things going offensively. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. Buffalo's ready to go on the attack. Calgary's regained possession of the puck. Backlund's got it along the wing. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. This is when you see guys starting to shake their head or squeeze the stick a little bit tighter. When they... Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. The Sabres lead in the game, doesn't get stretched. It's a scoring catch, a good one too, James, but it hits the post and stays out. Krebs moves it into the attacking end. 
The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. And that's just out of reach. Slides the puck to Sidora. He got all of that hit. Hangs onto the puck. Drills him. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. It's in the net. Buffalo's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forecheck. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Under a minute to go in the third. Right yeah. out! like this. Here in the late goings of the period, Buffalo's now up by four. Quick pass to Quinn. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Dished on over to Huberto. Tripped up on the play. Delay penalty coming up. Let's get the call here. Hey, James, I'll tell you what the worst part of this penalty is. It stops the clock. When you're down this much, you just want the game over. there with the two centermen tangled up. And he slides it quickly to Thompson. Puck exits the zone. Moves it to Olsson. Great heads up play with the stick by Tanev. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. The Sabres win the draw. Oh, and it makes the save just got enough to keep it out. Markstrom's really had a difficult time tonight. He's not looked comfortable. Even in warm-up, I thought he was a little bit shaky. He makes a good save there to keep his team somewhat in the game. There's the final horn, and here we go. They say behind every good coach is a good goaltender. Coach's got to be feeling good about that performance. Yeah, you'll never see any coach in the Hall of Fame with a brutal goalie. It just will <laughs> never happen. It is amazing how times have changed to see these post-game salutes now after a victory. Yeah, I used to go pat the goalie on the head and then get out of there. Now you stay, salute the fans, and they stay to cheer you. That'll do it for tonight's broadcast. For Ray Carter, I'm James. See you next time.